Five things every website should have. Hi there, I'm Stacey Tushel, entrepreneur, best-selling author, and top podcaster, and the founder of the Foot Traffic Formula, where I help small business powerhouses maximize their time and multiply their profits. And if that sounds like you, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that little bell notification next to it so you're notified every time we have a new episode coming out. So one of the things we specialize in here at Foot Traffic is we help people build funnels. So people will always ask me the question, do I still need a website? Is it irrelevant? And the answer is yes, you do need both. So let's talk about the difference. First, a funnel is where I am going to send traffic. So when I'm talking, even in this YouTube video, I'm gonna send you into one of my funnels. If I'm talking in a social media post, I'm sending you to a funnel. But when you search for me, you're probably not going to remember a specific funnel link. You're going to Google or search for me and you're going to wanna to find an actual website. So that is the difference. So now that you know the difference, it's time to make sure your website is effective as possible. Bounce rates are incredibly high. I'm talking seconds before somebody decides they don't want to check out your website anymore. So we have to make sure that you have the must have four pages that are going to help you convert as fast as possible. So page number one is an about us or in our story, a company story page. This is actually the second most viewed page out of your entire website after your homepage. And I don't think a lot of small business owners are spending enough time making sure they look and sound like the go-to business in their industry. So this is your chance to really put it all out there. You're not bragging. You are doing your potential customers a service by helping them understand if you are the right place or not so don't forget to go to your about us page or maybe you need to add one because you don't have it at all number two a work with us a our services page whatever you want to call it we are living in a world where we can order something right now and sometimes get it delivered within just a few hours and at the very latest hopefully a day so that means you have to make sure you have things for sale on your website and definitely have your pricing. Now you don't have to have all of your pricing on your website, but I wanna make sure that there is an opportunity for somebody to buy something on your website right now. If you are not making sales in your business every single day, we have some work to do. Number three, a contact us page. So a lot of times when somebody is searching for you, they're actually not really coming for your website or to learn more about you, they're coming to contact you. So what is your phone number, your email, your address? These are three very important things to put on there. Now, if you work in a home office and you maybe don't have a business landline, please, whatever you do, do not give out your cell phone. You will thank me later. What I want you to do instead is get a free Google Voice phone number, all right? Go Google Google Voice and you'll learn all about how you can do that. Another thing to consider is putting an FAQ right on that Contact Us page. A lot of times people are calling or emailing because they have a certain question. Well, you know, if you looked at your customer service inbox, a lot of those questions are the same. So if you can put a little FAQ section right at the bottom, it'll save you a lot of time and energy when people aren't calling anymore because they already have their answer. If you're finding value from this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up right now. And number four, obviously your homepage. Most people come to your homepage and bounce before they ever click another button. So how do we make your homepage be as super simple as possible? They're leaving because they're overwhelmed or they don't know where to go next. Let's take for instance, a great example of a simple homepage. Keller Williams, one of the top real estate agencies, knows exactly what they're doing by having a super simple homepage. Your options are, do you wanna buy a house or do you wanna sell a house? And that's it. But what I can tell you is if you started to go down that rabbit hole, it will help guide you step by step and hold your hand. They know what they're doing by having this super simple page. Now that might be one extreme to another. However, what I want you to see here is, is your website holding their hand? Is it making it crystal clear on where they should be going next? So these are the four pages you need to make sure you are maximizing to its fullest. And if you need to get more traffic to your website, I want to invite you to join me in my five day drive more traffic bootcamp. Go to five day traffic bootcamp.com for all the details. We're talking 10 free or low cost ways to drive more traffic. I'll see you there.
So comment below and tell me, do you show your prices on your website or do you hide them and make them either call or apply? I'm curious because I think this is definitely something people were afraid to do back then and now it's getting more and more common. So I wanna hear from you. Entrepreneur, author, nope, one more time. Hey there, I'm Stacey Tushel, podcast, no, I wanna say entrepreneur, podcaster, author, because this is gonna be one time where he's gonna play it. Okay, ready? And actually, it's just foot traffic, so let me say that one more time. 